Welcome back to the overview. We just want to level set your expectations on what this series on reading Java code has to offer and what it does not. In this series, we do not teach you how to program. We do not teach you how to code. But through some of the videos and lessons and modules, you may pick up a tidbit or two. But that is not the intent of this series. We introduce you to how to read Java code. And how do we do that? We will do that through the use of programs that I will develop to explain how to read Java code. So through me developing a code live or a program live for you, I will be explaining how to read and what the different pieces of the programs are. We will be exclusively using the NetBeans IDE. We do not endorse one IDE to be better than any other. So what we're saying there is simply this. There are many other development tools out there that, that you can use or others may use, but we have chosen to use NetBeans just for this series. But this is not an endorsement to say NetBeans is better or worse than any other tool that's out there. Just so we know that you're learning, you will be quizzed at the end of each module. Now, I'm going to tell you now that the answer key is the last page or the last slide in this series. Please do not go to that slide just to get the answers. Try to answer the questions honestly from the videos, from the slides, and the material that is presented. And at the end of the series, you can validate or check your answers against the answer key. Most importantly, relax, take lots of notes, and open your mind to reading Java code. We hope you enjoy this series, and we look forward to teaching you how to read Java code.